is Leah Jabbar from your Kids Run Club at Home program. You're with me for week number seven of our program. Our theme this week is partner up. So that means choose a new family member, a friend, a pet, um, and have them join you for one of your three runs this week. So things to remember if you are running with your pet, because it's been really hot lately, think about running with them early in the morning, late at night, so they're not getting overheated. Always end the run with a nice big cold bowl of water for your pet, or if you're close to a lake, end it so that your pet can do a nice dive into the lake and cool off that way. Make sure you are sending pictures of your partner runs to us, hashtagging KRC at home, to our Facebook or Twitter, or send them to us directly at our email at info at kidsrunclub.ca. We have two more hoodies to draw for, so make sure you are uh, sending us those pictures, and that hoodie can be yours this week. So our distances this week are for our two kilometer goal distance runners, you guys are up to 1.75. Our four kilometer distance runners are up to three and a half kilometers and our five kilometer distance runners, you're up at 4.5 kilometers. And again, we recommend three times a week at these distances. We only have one more week after this before our final uh, goal distance run, um, which is gonna be at the end of next week. I will give you more details next week on that. Um, so in the meantime, have a great time with this theme. Make sure you are sending me those pictures. Up next is gonna be our tip of the week video. Part of it is a replay of last year's Tip Wednesday. So <clears throat> stay tuned for that and uh, we'll see you next week. Hi guys, it's Leah Jabor from your Kids Run Club at Home program. You're with me for another Tip Wednesday. Sky and I are lying on our bed trying to get caught up on sleep. Our theme this week is protecting your sleep. A lot of us don't get the recommended amount of sleep that we should get in a run of a night. Uh, sleep is so important for our bodies and brains to function properly. If you don't get enough sleep in your life, and a lot of us don't, especially in the summertime when the days are longer, more sunlight coming in the windows, harder to get the kids in bed. Uh, so when you are lacking sleep, it can increase irritability, stress, forgetfulness. It leads to difficulty in learning, decrease in motivation, or just a few other things. It can actually lead to anxiety and even depression if you don't get enough sleep. So according to the Public Health Agency of Canada, one in four children are not actually getting enough sleep in the run of a night. They put guidelines out there, and the guidelines state that children between the ages of 5 and 13 should be getting in the ballpark of about 9 to 11 hours of sleep in the run of a night. And the 14 to 17-year-olds should be getting about 8 to 10 hours every night of sleep. So here are a few tips that you could follow that might help your children achieve better sleep behaviors. Okay guys, that's it for me for this week's tip of the week. Thanks for watching. Sky and I had a blast making the videos. Obviously, she's extra tired. Um, so just make a little extra effort on trying to get some better sleeps this week. I guarantee you it's a step in the right direction towards improved physical and emotional health and overall well-being and quality of life. I will see you next week for our last week of the Kids Around Club at Home program. Enjoy the week.